Amazon blatantly broke the law throughout the campaign, knowing that any potential penalty would be insignificant. This company will stop at nothing to stifle workers' efforts to unionize. Here's something else that happened recently. Uh, Jennifer Bates was fired yesterday. Yeah, you know, kind of talking about retaliation and mm-hmm. targeting uh, it was something that sort of was a in the back back channel of that conversation, right? Yeah. It's something we're, we're all concerned about. Um, and, you know, I think, unfortunately, here's yet another case of where a worker stands up for what's right. Uh, and is retaliated against. Absolutely. And and this is something that I uh, either said when we opened up the show or went on, on Twitter. But, I, I mean, she is, I think, the second most visible Amazon employee in the union effort. Uh, I think behind only Chris Smalls. I, I can't think of another Amazon employee who more people would have seen and know, right? Uh, I mean, and she's she's certainly not as well known as Chris Smalls. I think Chris Smalls isn't quite a household name, but but a lot of people know him. Uh, but but certainly, I think she's got to be a, a, a second. And um, and no doubt there is a and that creates a big incentive for Amazon to try to make an example of her and try to get rid of her. Uh, and this isn't even the first time that. Uh, Amazon has fired a high-profile Alabama union organizer. They fired last month. Um, uh, uh, oh shoot, I forgot his name. Is it Daryl? Yes, Daryl mm-hmm. Richardson. Sorry, I don't know why I forgot. Daryl Richardson. They fired him last month under kind of similar uh, circumstances. But um, RWDSU released a, a, a press statement yesterday saying that uh, the news comes shortly after Bates hit three years of service this May, which is an om- ominous number for Amazon workers whose pay scales top out after three years. Wow. Um, so not only is there an incentive for them to try to get rid of her because of her association with the union campaign, but also there's an incentive for them to get rid of her because she would now be among you know some of the most highly paid employees at the Bessemer facility, uh, uh, it, so they could get rid of her and hire somebody as a first year and pay them less. Uh, she has long struggled, according to RWDSU, with debilitating injuries from working at Amazon and had taken workers' compensation leave recently to tend to these injuries at Amazon's recommendation, according to RWDSU. Uh, upon Amazon telling her to return to work, the company refused to make adjustments to her work schedule and work type, despite despite repeated doctor's letters and review by Amazon's own, quote, wellness center. Uh, And I remember talking to her. I don't think that we talked about this on the show, but I remember seeing her and actually talking to her about um, about how that was an issue, how, you know, she has some uh, some injuries and some disabilities that that uh, really she ought to be given reasonable accommodation for, and yet they put her on the line in some of the most physically taxing uh, work environments that they have in the Bessemer facility, as opposed to something else where she could uh, perhaps sit down. I, I mean, I remember her telling me that she went from uh, quality control to the line uh, um, as a result of the campaign, she alleges. Nonetheless, uh, back to this press release, nonetheless, Bates returned to work, uh, the extreme shifts, amid extreme pain and swelling, only to be shortly told to go home by Amazon and get a new doctor's review before returning to work. Just days after returning for a second time, she received notice that her access to the A to Z app had been disabled. At issue, according to a difficult-to-reach HR representative, was her unpaid time-off tally, for which she has ample documentation. Only after Bates' tenacious inquiries, hours on the phone, uh, was Bates even informed she had potentially been terminated. Despite numerous attempts to provide the necessary paperwork, she has yet to hear from the company about her appeal. Um, so this is, you know, this is a- another one of the issues that they have with Amazon is that so much of this process is just automated uh, and, as opposed to an actual human. And, you know, Stuart Applebaum says that this is this is something that could easily be rectified by a human um, if, you know, 
if they actually wanted to bring her back, if this is indeed a, a, a genuine kind of an innocent effort by a computer, uh, then a human taking a look at these files could could rectify it. But you know, there's reason to believe that uh, that maybe the error or the refusal to ref- to fix the error isn't so innocent. Uh, Stewart said in the statement, What is clear today is that Amazon terminated one of the most public pro-union worker leaders we've seen in a generation. Jennifer Bates is being subjected to termination by AI due to a glitch in the company's own software. Today is just another in a litany of examples of how this company will stop at nothing to stifle workers' efforts to unionize. Amazon blatantly broke the law throughout the campaign, knowing that any potential penalty would be insignificant. Today's news is shockingly just another case of Amazon's misconduct in a growing mountain of unfair labor practices, objections, and charges against Amazon. The company violated the law in the first election and did so again in the rerun election and now is firing union leaders in the facility to all but extinguish any embers of union support in the facility. Uh, He continues and says, We urge the NLRB to carefully review Jennifer's case when it's filed and the countless other issues at hand to ensure that no company, not even one with the bottomless pockets of Amazon, is allowed to act above the law. And that's a very, you know, that's such an important thing (laughs) that, uh, that we don't allow what has been the, the case for decades now, um, big multi-billion dollar corporations getting to act like the law just doesn't apply to them. Uh, and, And that really needs to be rectified. Jennifer said in the statement, I went to work for Amazon because I believed in the future world of work, but at Amazon there is no future for workers like me. I've tirelessly worked for Amazon in Bessemer, Alabama since it opened. Everything hurts and it's permanently changed my life forever. But I stayed because I believe Amazon can be better and I believe with a union we can build a brighter future for workers across the country, across the company. I've given my back to Amazon these past three years. I've given my arms and shoulders to Amazon these past three years. Now, I've given every fiber of my soul into organizing Amazon these past three years. For them to treat me like this is unfathomable. But let me be clear, Amazon, your termination of my employment will not stifle workers organizing. For when you fire leaders, it only brings more people ignited into the movement. We are a movement. We will not be stopped. And I know my union, recognized or not by you, has my back. We'll fight this. I will not be silenced and we will not be stopped, said Jennifer Bates, newly terminated Amazon uh, Bessemer, Alabama worker. So very powerful statement, both from Stuart Applebaum and from uh, and from Jennifer Bates in a you know really, really disgusting story. Um, but of course, obviously sending all the love and solidarity and support to Jennifer and everybody else at Bessemer uh, Amazon. Absolutely. Thank you, Jennifer, for for your fight and uh, I'm sorry for what you're going through it's a shame and uh, so yeah definitely sending our love and solidarity to RWDSU to Jennifer your family Uh, wishing you all the best in this fight ahead because I know it's a a long fight ahead Uh, but I know you'll still you'll stay strong You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 